Hello everyone, good morning. I hope everybody's doing fantastic today. I am going to show you two pictures that I printed offline. It's gonna be difficult for you to necessarily see, but what's in the pictures is the before and after of two different people. And uh, it shows how they look before and how they look after. This one says before cardio, and then this picture where the person is toned it says weights. So instead of doing cardio, they have used weights. That is proof right there that there are certain types of exercises that you can do to, um, to get to where you want to be, okay? So what I would encourage you to do or to think, what I would suggest, especially, um, I'm, I'm never going to share something with you that I am not doing myself. So yesterday in the previous, in the previous video, if you watch it yesterday, um, I have actually encouraged you to print out these pictures and um, have them on your vision board. Vision boards work because without a vision, you don't know where you're going. You might wake up in the morning and you might feel lethargic, you might feel down, you might feel discouraged. And um, all you need to do is just to ramp up um, in you this this feeling evoke this feeling in you that yeah i'm gonna go there i'm gonna get there but if you don't have that get there or what that looks like you are going to fall back you meaning you're gonna go in the kitchen and eat the wrong thing or doing the wrong thing remember what we're trying to do now when we set this um ideal body image within like a thermostat what we want to do we want to lock it in just the same way you have things right now in your memory that they always keep coming back, right? You have had emotional impacts. See, how should I say this? There's two ways. There's two ways that we learn in life, through emotional impact or through repetition, okay? An emotional impact is the result of a, um, a repetition of something, okay? And it brings you to an emotional impact. That could be the birth of a child, that could be the death of somebody, that could be the loss of something, that could be the winning of something, something out of the ordinary. That's an emotional impact. Now, we get to that place of an emotional impact through a repetition of some sort, okay? Not necessarily because when somebody dies, obviously it's not like they're dying kind of over and over and over again. But what I'm saying is there's a process of getting to that end result. So we want to get to that result, to that end uh, vision of our body image, ideal body image through repetition. And so what we're doing, when we're looking at the vision of our ideal body, we are saying, this is where I'm going, this is where I'm going, this is where I'm going. You're going to find yourself um, differently. You're going to feel different. You're actually going to feel as if you are that person already. Because all of a sudden, your mind is more guarded, um, your mouth is guarded, what you're going to eat, how you're going to talk about yourself. So that is going to help you. And you want to become this person. Right now, when we look like we don't want to look, and just because I'm thin, that does not mean that I necessarily um, appreciate where I'm at with my body. I would like to have it toned. So I don't know where you find yourself right now, but I know that every woman struggles with something. And we need to end up the struggling and nobody can help us in the struggle but ourselves, okay? We are our own savior. We are our own uh, problem and solution. Within you, there's the cause and the effect, right? Uh, the law of polarity says for every bad, there is a good, which means if you think something's wrong or bad with you, then within you, you already know the answer or you already know what you would like to have instead. So that's the vision. Once you set the vision, guess what? It sets within yourself as a thermostat and listen, once you get to that reality, once your body gets to that point of transformation in reality, and it matches that vision you have in the mind, your body is never going to go back. Your body is never going to go back. So we want to learn how to diet. We want to learn how to lose weight. We want to learn how to tone our body. It has to be a made up mind and a made up decision. So today I am going to do a few exercises that we have done um, and that we're going to continue doing but i feel that um whatever you end up doing whoever you end up watching whoever you end up following um, 
make sure that you feel good while you're doing the exercise and make sure that um, you you have an intention before you do any exercise okay for example this is what I believe is going to bring more flexibility in my hips okay in my back is going to stretch my vertebra um, my, my spine so you do what you think is best for you what you would like your body to feel and look like okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch forward okay this is what I want to bring flexibility between my inner thighs What I would encourage you to do as well is to start using affirmations about you. Um, what I teach my clients in my business programs is to go in the mirror and for a hundred times to say one thing, okay? Um, you might think this is foolishness, but again, we are developing ourselves and we are um, changing ourselves through repetition, okay? Your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not. It will give to you that which you give to it. So you must feed your soul or subconscious mind exactly what you want your subconscious mind to give to you. You see what happens um, in quantum physics world and in the uh, world of mindset and human performance, you understand that you are spirit and what you give, it will be given. What you give, you receive. That means what you give in the form of a thought, an image and what you speak, it will be given to you, you will receive it. So when I teach women how to love themselves, how to build their own identity, and we're not talking about just the body image, but also self image, how you see yourself and how you speak to yourself, that way you will be spoken to. And I mean that in a literal sense, meaning that if you tell yourself I am beautiful, expect somebody, expect those words to go out and they will never come back without fruit. What does that mean? It means that somebody is going to come into your life and it's either, you're gonna find it into a text, um, you're gonna hear someone say to you, wow, you're beautiful, or wow, you look so good today. That's the equivalent of that which you have sent out, okay? So when we give, we receive. What do you want to receive today? I ask my clients, what would you like to gift yourself today? All right? What would you like to give yourself today? Whatever you want to give yourself today, you put it out first and then it's coming to you because we like to hear it from the outside we like to hear that validation from the outside but you first must give it to yourself and when you say you give it to yourself you give it to the subconscious mind to your heart you make your heart you feel your heart to the full you feel your cup that's what it means you feel your cup to the full and then what happens it will be given to you because you filled your cup from the overflowing once it spills out right in the sense that you really really feel and believe that and you believe that this is the process and how we work with reality with the universe and guess what happens you're going to actually receive it okay what you hold in your conscious mind which is 60 to 80 thousand thoughts a day guess what's gonna happen that's what you receive so if there's chaos in the conscious mind, there's all kinds of thoughts, there's no order. You're not going to receive anything necessarily. So that's how it works when it comes to the body image. If your mind is clear as to that image, you are going to receive that image. The things you are doing are going to get you there, okay? So I want to work on the abdomen right now. Bring my hands behind my head. Come up, do three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. We're going to do 10 exercises. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. 
okay? I'm going to turn on the side, bend your uh, lower leg, your knee, stretch the upper leg with the toes pointed down, okay? We are going to go up and down. So here we go, 10 reps, one, two, three, four, control the leg, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bring it in and out for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the leg down. You can sit yourself up. Bring your legs to the other side. Bend the lower knee. Toys pointed out, the heel up. Let's go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Bring the knee in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Bring yourself up and we're going to do the arm exercises. What I usually do, and it's easier, I come here to this um, cabinet, and it's hard for me to do it right now, but what I really do, and maybe we can do this backwards, um, I would lower myself and then come up because I want to work the back of the arm. So we can probably do it this way as well. We're gonna do 10 reps, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you want to do more than five, six, seven minutes, you can do that. Science has proven now that you don't need more than seven minutes of a workout uh, during the day if you do it with intention if you do it focused for example as I was um, Working the back of my arm as I was working my legs all I could see and all I could say internally because remember once you have that image And you have the image of your thighs of your glutes what you need to tell yourself is oh, yeah It's toned it's toned it's toned your words are life Okay, your mouth gives life it's a sense to life, it kills or destroys. And so that is so true. Imagine in a relationship, if you say something negative to, to the other person, how are they going to feel? You are going to ruin the atmosphere. You are going to ruin uh, ruin the the spirit, right? The, the, the attitude between the two. In the same way, you must understand that when you speak to that body part, you speak as if it is the way it is, then things are going to change, okay? So know this, everything is spiritual. Every relationship is spiritual, right? When you have a partner, um, your relationship is actually spiritual because you are thinking about the other person in a certain way, you are uh, doing things uh, in your mind, you're planning with the other person, and then you just end up doing it in the physical, but it starts in the mind first. So in the same way, if you want to have this beautiful relationship with your ideal body image, you must speak to it now. So you see your arms and then you tell it, oh, you are toned. It is toned, my arms are toned, my arms are toned. You are building that relationship with yourself, with that ideal body image, okay? So think of you as two sides of you, all right? This one and that vision. And you communicate with it and you praise it. You say, you tell it and say, yeah, you do have toned arms. This is when we get into auto-suggestion, right? So you say, hey, yeah, I am beautiful, or wow, you are beautiful, or wow, your arms are toned. 
all right? Because your words give life. So give life to that vision, make it, make it come to life, okay? And you do that through your mouth because your words are life. With the tongue, we kill and destroy, but the tongue is only the words of our thoughts and thoughts turn to images. And this is who you are. Your thoughts always turn to images from the mind into the brain. We have um, cell memory, right? That's why we have memories and build images in the brain. And now we're building new images in the brain. We are not seeing through the physical eyes, we are seeing through the brain which means when you are seeing through the subconscious mind or through your heart. So if you put into your heart good words, good or old words of appreciation, guess what? The heart is always going to give those to you, which means the heart cannot lie, all right? It doesn't know the difference between truth or not. So what you give to it in the form of an image and words, the heart says, here it is back, here it is back. That's the only relationship you've got to have in the world. All right, love yourself enough to give you the words of appreciation, the images that you want to have and experience in life about you because you are here to experience life to the fullest. You are not here to depend on other people to make it happy. They come when you call them. You call them when you give to yourself, okay? It, it is all done within you and then it is done for you. Life is created by you and then for you. So you create it first by you through your mind, through your thoughts, images, and speech. You must come into that alignment. And then, because it's created by you or it is done by you, then it comes back for you, all right? To, through, and for you. This is who you are, so remember this. You are a pure spirit energy, okay, that comes through this dearth body, humus, okay? And uh, whatever you attach to this pure spirit that just is, to this energy of you that just is, it is going to be given to you, all right? So love yourself, forget what everybody has said, has said about you, forget what, what is going on in your circumstances and in your life. You must forget those words of shame, of guilt, even that you have spoken to yourself. Enter into a forgiveness and say, I am sorry for hurting you. I am sorry for thinking so bad about you. I am sorry for uh, thinking that you are not worthy to, uh, to have an amazing body to be spoken well to, to feel appreciated because you are, okay? So you create your reality, you create everything in the world, all right? Thank you so much for being here. Enter into your power and your authority to speak only the words that you want others to say to you, all right? Thank you again. I will see you next time. Bye now.